Hey people, welcome to Tots and Moms. My name is Kavita and in today's video we are going to talk about non-vegetarian food for babies. At what age we can offer, what are the benefits, what are the things we'll have to keep in mind while offering non-veg food to babies and uh, what are the methods or ways that we can offer it to uh, younger babies. To begin with, let's talk about the benefit. At first, uh, these are rich in protein and vitamin B. These are uh, helpful in uh, good bone health, eye health and muscle gain. These also are a heavy food, so uh, they keep the baby energized and fuller for a longer time. And uh, remember, uh, there is always going to be a debate that vegetarian food is healthy, non-vegetarian uh, food is healthy. Let's not get into it at this point of time because we know there are uh, so many uh, customs and religions and cultures that follow different methods and it is always going to be there. But if you are a non-vegetarian, you wish to offer it to your child, please ensure that you offer it the right way and at the right time. I have noted around 15 points that you will have to consider while uh, offering non veg food to your children. Don't worry, it is not a scary list, the simple things and points that will be helpful. At first, you can start it at 7 months of age. Um, in what ways, I'll let you know later. After introducing solids, basic fruits, uh, vegetables, simple single grains, you can uh, continue to offer this as well. Or you decide when you feel comfortable. Um, it's absolutely okay to delay a bit. And home cooked is always best. Do not offer something that you buy from store. It may be undercooked or overcooked. It is not right. And buy fresh meat and cook it fresh. Even if you are storing it in your refrigerator, ensure that you have a proper backup and buy it from a trustable source if they have refrigerated. If it is a good brand, well and good. Otherwise, if it is smelling bad, if it is stale, you do not have to take that risk while offering to your child, right? And uh, sausages, salami, ham are uh, processed meat. A lot of preservatives and chemicals are added, beaten up, processed and not well for your child and in the initial days it is always advised to offer it during the daytime or uh, I mean for uh, breakfast or lunch so that you monitor the child if baby has digestion issues you can give some cumin water and uh, help the baby uh, get rid of that stomach issues or gas issues and if there is any reaction you can monitor and take the baby to doctor and never force feed your child if the child rejects please respect that offer it after a week or two and uh, remember um, Indian spices are great to help uh, boost that digestion so while cooking add a bit of uh, cumin powder, pepper powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder these are going to be a boon <laughs> for your child when you are offering uh, non-veg and uh, non-veg foods are heavy so in moderation it is always good and there is a saying that uh, boys or myth that boys cannot digest uh, heavy food so till a year even uh, at many uh, places or cultures they do not offer uh, chapati or roti wheat uh, assuming baby boys cannot digest it baby boy or baby girl if you are used to it your baby will be uh, getting used to it so do not worry if it is in their genes they will easily adapt and keep a watch while uh, trying certain type of uh, uh, non-veg food that are uh, allergens like some sort of fish etc and uh, ensure to include uh, fiber rich foods like fruits or vegetables in their daily diet while you are offering this um, and the quantity most of them uh, will definitely ask see quantity uh, varies from baby to baby just like it varies from uh, person to person and um, uh, I mean in moderation it is good also we do not eat uh, meat 24 by 7 365 days for all our meals if someone is having it you know it is not right doctors also advise to have weekly twice or thrice only so that's what you will have to follow with your child as well and ensure to buy local uh, uh, and uh, farm grown um, meat or fish only because you do not want 
to uh, i mean one thing is local food is always good second thing is if it is imported and if it is not going to be suitable to your child you don't know if you are used to it then your child will also be used to it and start slowly with egg then fish is ideal then chicken mutton and other types of meats or poultry you can start <music> Okay the last segment and most important how to offer uh, non vegetarian food to children in the initial days when i said 7 months i know you overthinking if i <laughs> i'm really saying that see one way is baby led weaning if uh, you have followed that then small pieces of uh, meat is not at all a big deal for them to eat and digest if you are starting on traditional method then uh, broth is an ideal way broth is nothing but boiling vegetable or non veg uh, food anything or, or even a combination and uh, that water being used uh, to make i mean um, as a liquid you cannot offer it to babies so you can mix it with cereal mash it with rice and add a little bit of broth and give it to your child ensure that you do not add salt while preparing this broth then um, you can offer it in the form of puree or you can offer it in the form of soup when they are growing a bit uh, at around 8 or 9 months they can chew it as well just give your finger and see how hard they bite so their jaws are really sufficiently efficient to bite and mash and eat uh, non veg food or any food so uh, softer uh, meat is always good fish is one which is advised that they can eat so uh, you can mash that with their rice and give it to them and uh, around 10 months or 11 months like finger food you can offer a piece of kebab or a piece of fish or just uh, deep fried things sometimes occasionally are fine ensure that no salt is added and um, when they grow a bit older around 11 or 12 months or even uh, toddlers you can offer all that you eat as a family minus salt for one year below and with less of a spice for uh, babies until they adapt to the family food so it is absolutely fine to introduce non vegetarian food if you are a non vegetarian and if you are slowly adapting and if you want to introduce it to your child now then um, see how your baby adjusts to it then even talk to pediatrician that you are eager to introduce or you want to because of the benefits of it so please take a call doctor is the best judge if you have any more concerns any more queries regarding uh, introducing non veg food we can also help you to an extent please put in your comment and thank you so much for watching this video i would request you to have a look at our tots and moms food store where we sell uh, baby uh, cereals porridges instant mixes dry fruit powder and other nutrient booster uh, we also sell pancake and cookies um, and um, drink mixes made of jaggery so this is our food store and thank you so much bye bye